our monthly edition of IP in 3. This month is a follow-up to our June edition on the basics of trade secrets. Let's take a closer look at how companies can effectively manage such trade secrets within their company and in relation to third parties. Trade secrets consist of any information that is valuable to an enterprise and gives it a competitive edge and any unauthorised use of such information by persons other than the holder is regarded as unfair practice and a violation of the trade secret. The conditions to comply with for the information to be considered a trade secret are secrecy, meaning the information is not generally known among or readily accessible to circles that normally deal with the kind of information in question, and reasonable steps taken by the rightful holder of the information to keep it secret. What constitutes reasonable steps and how can you go about ensuring the trade secret remains a secret while also being able to utilise them in business transactions? Number one, collect them. In order to have a good idea of what you must have as a trade secret, it is essential that you have them in an organised manner, i.e. named and collected into a place where access is restricted. Such access must always be on a need-to-know basis. Number two, Develop and maintain a trade secret policy. Apart from the education of employees on the importance of value of trade secrets in general, efforts must also be made in the development of a trade secret policy that is appropriate for the company. It is essential that such a policy exists in a written form and is signed by employees at the time they are inducted into the company and before they are given access to the trade secrets. It is also essential that there is a periodic monitoring for compliance of the trade secret policy throughout the company. Access rights must be periodically reviewed and ensured to be on a need-to-know basis. There must also be a periodic review of what is maintained as a trade secret in relation to the changing business environment. This will ensure that efforts are not wasted in protecting something that does not warrant the effort, given the circumstances that exist at the time. Number three, language in third-party agreements. Due care must be taken in the creation of NDAs and other confidentiality agreements that precede commercial transactions with third parties to have a separate clause dealing with the non-disclosure of trade secrets. Such care also needs to be taken with respect to subcontractor agreements. Number four, the role of HR management. Since the passing of the Trade Secrets Act in the US, and the Directive on Trade Secrets in the EU, enacted in 2018, trade secrets have increasingly been in the spotlight, and with it, a significant rise in the number of trade secret-based litigations, mostly involving theft by employees. Given this, it has become increasingly important for HR management to play a crucial and effective role in the maintenance of trade secrets within the company. Their role extends but is not limited to a appropriate procurement and onboarding of employees to ensure the new recruits are up to speed with the internal trade secret policy and to ensure that no trade secrets are being brought in from previous employers. B. Ensuring that employee contracts are always up to date regarding having appropriate provisions related to the trade secret laws that exist at any given time. C. Ensure that appropriate procedures are followed especially during exit or termination from the company to prevent the loss of confidential information and trade secrets. D. Play an active role in the periodic review and maintenance of trade secret policy within the company. If you're interested in learning more on this and related topics, do follow our monthly IP in 3 sessions on our Inno Energy YouTube channel. You can also follow us on LinkedIn and read our growing collection of articles on topics related to intellectual property that might be relevant to your business.